Christchurch Christmas Parade has been a citywide tradition for decades. More than 100,000 locals pave the streets to watch the parade come past, and for one day a year, these much-loved floats are the centre of attention. If you believe in magic, you believe in Christmas Parade. But this weekend, there will be one float missing. At the parade headquarters in New Brighton, a tandem trailer was stolen in the weekend. It supported the giant Pluto dog, a fan favourite for 20 years. The Red Baron plane was also dumped. Both were left on the ground, the trailer gone. To take off a Christmas, obvious Christmas parade participant and then steal the trailer means they know what they were doing. Somebody knew that they were stealing from the Christmas parade. Um, I don't I don't understand that. Murray has been volunteering at the parade for 50 years. He can't believe someone would do this. Very disappointed, yes. I am, yeah. A local business, Southern Salvage, has pledged to tow the Pluto dog this weekend, so it won't be missing from the parade. The only reason it was outside in the first place was because the parade team had run out of room inside their giant warehouse. The parade isn't funded by the City Council, instead it relies entirely on grants and donations to continue running. Vandalism like this is a major setback. I, I, I don't understand how cold people can be to do something like that. The parade has been running for 66 years and some of the floats are getting tired and old. Although many bring back strong childhood memories for the crowd, there are a few that are due to be replaced. Really, to replace a float completely, you're looking at about $20,000. That's out of the question for this volunteer-run trust, so a fresh lick of paint is in order. Um, we're just going around uh, now, all the floats, and just making sure everything's sharp. Good colours, no damage, nice and clean over the next few days. Hansel and Gretel's float has been revamped along with Mother Goose. She's beautiful in shades of blue. But no float takes more priority than this one. It belongs to Santa Claus. The Father Christmas float every year gets new snow. Every year, although it just goes from here to the parade in the hour and a half on the parade, every year Father Christmas looks sharp. The parade kicks off this Saturday morning at 11 down Rickerton Road. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.